Damrak is also the starting point for most of the coach tour operators. We have chosen a trip to Volendam and Marken, two former fishing villages. Well then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a very good uh, afternoon and uh, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, as far as I could check... But our first port of call is a clog-making workshop. There's some more people coming in. Welcome in our wooden shoe workshop. <laughs> I'll show you how to make a wooden shoe in three languages. It's too many people. Fresh wood is used, about half of the weight is water. When the wood is green, it's relatively easy to shape. The traditional way was done by hand. Take a big knife, do the outside of the shoe, then take spoon scoops, various shapes, various sizes to take out the inside. Yeah? To make a pair by hand was about two hours work with the machines. We'll do a little shoe in five minutes. Okay? So, the machine, 70 years old, duplicating lathe. We have made a model for this size shoe, copy it over to the other side. Three knives, we'll do the work for uh, It's done in the same way, also here we work off of a template. Now the heel and toe are cut off by hand. Now they do look quite big. I wear the, we wear them with a thick woolen sock. All the leather mawaza. Eager sauce. One finger space should fit behind. This way they move without rubbing. They are a shoe that are predominantly worn outside. A point on the shoe was worn by fishermen. For them to repair the netting was easily done. Stick the point of the shoe in and you're left with your two hands free to do the work. Practical solutions for everyday problems. Try some on. Thank you very much for your attention.